Hi, my name is Rachel Sarawick. I'm an assistant professor of biomedical engineering at the Weldon School of Biomedical Engineering at Purdue University in Indianapolis. Osteoporosis is this incredible epidemic in the United States. It's a significant strain on our economic system, but it's also a significant strain on the individual that bears the brunt of osteoporosis. And so when these individuals sustain these fractures that normally, you know, their bone could, could handle these, you know, instances, but this person with osteoporosis now goes on to fracture, leads them into this cascade of significant amounts of morbidity, decreases in quality of life, and then in some cases, even an increased risk of death from really brilliant studies that have been going on over the past 10 years and so forth, we're really understanding that water, when we remove water from bone, it significantly increases its risk of undergoing a fracture. It becomes a very brittle structure. And so now taking that knowledge, now my lab is really trying to develop and refine clinically relevant techniques that will allow us to not only measure somebody's bone water, and then now that we know that somebody's bone water is being negatively impacted through the aging process or diseases such as osteoporosis, now we're looking at a slew of different therapeutics where we can intervene and intervene in ways that we can now increase that bone water. And so that's kind of this holistic approach of what I would like to do. Let's find out when you're fracturing and now that we know, let's go ahead and, and try to stop this from happening. So we're, we're starting to understand that bone water is quite important. We know mechanically it's very important, and we're also understanding that under disease conditions that bone water is impacted. And so now that we know that, rather than targeting, targeting just the mineral phase with our therapeutic approaches, then can we develop therapeutics or find therapeutics that would enhance the water in the bone? And so whether that looks like a dual um, therapeutic approach where we have therapeutics that increase the mineral and then now we're hitting it with water, or how much water increase would offset some of this detrimental um, bone loss that these patients sustain. And so that's really a, a kind of a fascinating area to me. I've been working with these new types of techniques called ultra short echo time MRI. And so what that allows us to do is to interrogate now all the water and bone, which normally under conventional MRI would have appeared as a signal void. So now that we get this signal in our bone, now we're able to ask so many really rich questions about what's happening with the water in these patients' bones. And then does this water begin to change before the mineral changes? And and so that gets into um, biomarker development. So can I use this non-invasive imaging biomarker and would this give us significantly more information than what's already available through the approaches that we're using in the clinic?